Hey everyone, it's Colby here, and welcome to the season finale of 4x4 Together. On this three-part series, we'll be heading out to George's Junction, but before that we met up with Jack in Kempsey. Jack is a local fella who's been full driving around these parts for a few years, so he was giving us some inside knowledge on a few places to go. We had actually planned to meet up with Jack on the Sunday. He knows a few sneaky tracks around that area that would have really tested out all the new gear on my car and on David's car. As you'll find out, after 3.30pm on the Saturday, we had one of the longest, tiresome and hardest recoveries we've ever had to do. If it wasn't for a few special guests that you guys will meet later on the show, it would have been a lot worse, so thankfully they come along to help us out. That's just country hospitality at its finest, so guys, sit down, relax and enjoy the show. See you mate. Alright, let's head off. Let's kick George's kick. Junction, let's do it! If I take you down, would you really hold me down and be your best friend? She just wanna hit me with a quickie by the pool and I'm like, yes ma'am. G'day guys, Dave here from 4x4 Together. Uh, we've just left Kempsey, we're just heading through uh, the mountain range now, out towards George's Junction area. Um, we're gonna go hit up the power lines truck, you probably have heard of it. Um, find a couple more trucks around the area and um, probably head into camp at uh, Crack and Back. It's a pretty good camp spot if none of you have been there before. Um, I haven't been there myself, but I've heard off a lot of people it's an awesome spot. Probably why it's called Crack and, camp, crack and Back Camp Spot. But um, yeah, I'm pretty keen to check it out. If I take you down, would you really hold me down and be your best friend? She just wanna hit me with a quickie by the pool and I'm like, yes. So I forgot the... Uh... We got the gas bottle, which means um can't really cook anything. I have to borrow all the David stuff. It's sort of what happened at the cells as well. But uh, good old trusty David always looks after us. Hey, hey here he is. Anyway, we'll see. I'm starving. <laughs> Back home ain't the same. Your pops drinking all the time. You just wanna get away. Come hop up in my ride. Two goofies on the run. Couple. Can, can I wear the hat? For? Can I wear the hat for the video? Oh, Alright. The red one? Can you wear the red one and I wear the Akuba? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be sick, man. I'm just gonna sit. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you've actually been in the bush, Colby. Oh, I feel I look like a bushman when I can. Sick as, bruh. <laughs> sick as. Here's your god, mate. I feel like you're <laughs> a kid with that on, eh? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> I look like a little kid. No, yeah, keep it on, but so funny. <laughs> Alright, guys, we've just come from Kempsey, stopped in at George's Junction. It's taken us about two hours to get here. We've all stopped for a bite to eat because we'll probably push through lunch. It's what, 11 30 now? Yeah, about that, yeah. About 11 30. Yeah. So we're going to head up and <laughs> with the Akuba, head up and do the power lines track, maybe check out uh, Sticks River, and then what do you reckon? Come back here and camp the night? Yeah, I reckon. Come yeah. back here, set up camp. Yeah. Alright guys, enjoy! So how far along the road do you reckon it is? About another 10, 15? Come on, man. Yeah. Right, so we're looking at it like another half an hour. Yeah, I think so from memory. It's been two years since I've been up here, so... Yeah, you start climbing up the ridge line a bit. Um, yeah, I know I want to come to it. <laughs> We've just driven another 30 minutes from George's Junction to get to the start of the power lines track and we're all airing down before we start the hill climb. I've aired down to 22 in the rear and 20 in the front. That's my preference when I'm fully loaded with all the extra weight. Plus, the track wasn't too extreme and didn't need to go down any further because the conditions were perfect. So now we're going to pass it over to Alex to introduce himself and his rig. I'm Alex McCaffrey, I'm from Port Macquarie. This is my 2012 Troop Carrier. Been building it up over the last three years. When I bought it, it was a stock standard cop car. Now she's got a bit of work done to it. Custom snorkel and rear bar by Thurburns Fabrication in Sydney. Uh, two inch lift, 33s, twin locked, water tank under the back of it. 
old man visor, because that's the style I like. The engine standard, three inch exhaust straight through, because that's where you got to have it. And she served you well, took me up to the Cape last year. So, what was that, it's uh, 8,000 Ks in four weeks. Two weeks time, I'm going to head down to the Winter Ramble. About 200 troop carriers get together in Kurungooba for our one hell of a party. Every time I go there, don't remember the weekend. It's a good one. All right. So we've come to our first hill climb, guys. It's called the Power Lines Track. We've all let our tyres down to, you know, to the reasonable pressures. I always just let mine down to about 23 anyway because of how light the car is. So it's only a nice, cruisy little hill climb, which should be a little bit of fun. And it's going to take us to a wicked, wicked looking uh, look out. <laughs> Word around town as I got the city bumping. And frankly, they did not see that coming. I'm the perfect mix of the Gestapo and El Chapo and Picasso. Except my skin is black And watch me drop the needle into a fetal position. Get my rock on. Old friends want to get their talk on. Making excuses for why I made it. Because they hate to see me spot on. I just narrowed down. Well, <laughs> better get going again, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Right on. laughs> I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but there, there is, you can't see Dane really, but he's up there and he's walking. Tough gig, I reckon. Colby is a, he's a hard boss, eh? He's cheering at a red Think I'm bluffing, we used to try it. I just gotta make sure I is covered like a pirate. Carpet with a red tone, robe the color violet. Having coffee with a red bone, talking politics and science. I am a certified polymath. I assume that you will probably ask. I'm jumping out the gym. I say you better get your aim right. I said you better get your aim. I just left the flight, it's been a long day. Hey, I can get you right, but in the wrong way. Hey, baby, shout out to your mama for the DNA. Hey, I bet you will follow suit if I lead the way. Let me in the dark red room with the candles lit. Lingerie, all systems go, can you handle it? Honest, babe, I don't make a promise that I can't keep. Real shit, so I promise when you leave, you have trouble walking straight. And ooh, not to mention, I'm heavy with the tension. Keep my money close, but I always pay attention. That kiss me like you mean it, but you don't want to and shout out to the girls who don't know everything they miss. Man, that is one beautiful. The view up here, the view up here is insane. It is absolutely insane. Oh, how good is that, hey? Insane. Yeah. Check this out, that is. Just on the power lines track. It's a pretty easy track. You could probably get up here in a stock car like so I know that because we've seen one coming down. But it is the most amazing view. Check this out, man. It is a cracker shot. Could spend all day up here, and some people have because you can see there's been a fire lit down here before. So look. So we're just here as well, being a little bit sun smart with this triple J hat. Guys, thanks. So I've heard it's heard a lot of festivals and seen a lot of things. So hopefully it sees a few of the four drive tracks and what we can do with it as well. But look guys, we'll put up the long and latitude of this track so you guys can check it out as well. It's uh, 
For any of you guys at home, want to know what sort of lip balm that keeps these lips looking uh, perky? <laughs> I don't know if you've heard of them, but doTERRA. doTERRA lip balm. Can't say I've heard of them, mate. Eh? My missus actually sells them if you want to buy them. I'll hook you up. I'll give you some discount. So we're going to go back to George's Junction and we're going to check out the um, the river track. Now the owner out at George's Junction, um, well there is an owner that owns a lot of property where there used to be some really really cool tracks and there probably still are some cool tracks but he doesn't allow people to go on there anymore and it really sucks but it's not, it sucks because it was the people's fault. Now he, I was talking to Jack this morning and um, he knows the owner and he was saying that what happened is he, he let it out, like he let people, he was letting people go through all the tracks and have a bit of fun and go forward driving. Somebody closed off the gate, left um, 50 of his cattle in this gate, didn't reopen it, they didn't get water and 50 of his head died. So since then he's just closed it off basically to everyone, which is, look, that's fair enough. Um, it sucks, it sucks for us four drivers, but I mean, we're doing that sort of stuff, you sort of bring it on yourself. So it's one of those things with four-wheel driving that you really wanna, you really wanna be aware of your surroundings and what you're doing and what you've done. If you're opening gates and closing gates, <coughs> make sure that the, as much as you can, like you leave it exactly how, you when you leave, you leave it exactly how you came. So anyway, we're gonna cruise to George's now, we're gonna check out some tracks through George's and show you a bit around there now. Hey guys, uh, we're here at George's Junction today. Um, as you can see up here, there's an unwanted sign. Um, unfortunately, there's uh, those odd four-wheel drivers out there that actually, they come out and they throw their rubbish everywhere and trash the tracks, do burnouts and stupid shit everywhere. And it, it really does ruin it for all the four-wheel drive community. So um, we can't continue on this track any further today. Um, obviously without the owner's um, approval and whatnot, but um, yeah, that all I'm saying is basically if you're gonna come out, go camping and that, just just take your rubbish home with you. It's not that hard, um, and it'll keep it keep all the tracks open for the rest of us. We're here anyway. Um, there's a beautiful spot behind the camera that you can't see. Um, we can see a lot of uh, I think it's potty mullet or something jumping in the water there. Um, I'm gonna go get my rod. I'm gonna go for a quick flick and hopefully catch a bass. So there's actually a um, bass fishing launch here and I've been told by many a people that the bass fishing here is insane. We've seen some squirts out the water before and uh, I just got overly excited and ran away from everyone and started getting me rig hooked up. So I reckon we got, we got another like two hours of sunlight left and um, I reckon I'm going to be out do about an hour's worth of fishing and see how we go. And if I catch a bass, I'll be so stoked. This trip will just be like worth it.
Alright well, guys, so we were just sort of hanging around George's Junction for a bit and um, I had one of the fellas that leases the property out here, he does a lot of cattle running. He's um, actually just been in a magazine recently for doing a big cattle run through here anyway. He was just sort of telling us about the uh, really steep track, secret track that's, <laughs> that's up here. So what we might do is we're going to get, he's going to show us where it is now and then um, tomorrow morning first thing depending on how hectic it is we'll probably come through and um, give it a whirl but we'll show you before we'll show you before the end of the tonight sort of what it looks like which um, by the sounds of things it's pretty intense so the uh, lady was telling me that um, she was riding a horse down it and by the end of the by the end of the um, by the end of the hill her saddle the saddle and the horse was all the way down on its neck so it should be a bit of fun eh? Tell you where to go. Yep. There's a track, see that big gum tree over there? Yeah, yeah. The track goes right up the hill and set of slip rails. Yep. I'll take over and show you where you'll come down. Yeah, alright. I know. So you just we'll head across that way to the next gate. Yep, alright. That way. Yep. Beautiful. How good is this? Classic, hey. Well um that's what it's about, eh? Yeah, that's like, this is what it's about, you know, you sort of, it's sort of exactly why I love hanging out with country people, you know what I mean? Like... Little did we know, we were going to be stuck on this hill for the next 24 hours. Well, that's not entirely true, but David Shaw was stuck there for 24 hours. In part two of George's Junction, you'll see that just about everything that could have gone wrong, went wrong. But there is a silver lining. So we hope you've enjoyed part one and we'll see you again in part two.